Okay, I just want to make sure you understand this last part here. What we got here is a roller blade bearing with a bolt, another roller blade bearing on this side, then we took these washers and we filled up almost all of the flat spot, just enough so when we screw this nut on here and it gets tight when it runs out of threads, it can still flop around and spin, okay? Then after that, this is where you take your big washers and your other nut, stick this on here, grab your big washer, actually you gotta put a washer behind it. This just happens to fit in here real nice. Okay, then you've got another washer and your last nut. Screw those on there, tighten them with a the wrench. That's what you end up with. Okay. Then, I built a little box here. The width of my drill. Cut a couple pieces of wood, pre-drill your holes, put a couple screws in it, okay? Then we've got a piece of rubber. Could be a piece of a shoe, probably doesn't matter. If you've got a 5 16 bolt with two big washers and a piece of rubber cut round with a hole in the center. And then there's a nut on the inside. So I squeeze these two washers against this rubber and that's gonna be your drive wheel. Okay, you get Think about it a little bit when you're doing this, but basically your drill is going to sit on here and this is going to just touch the bucket, okay? Then, this isn't perfectly tight, so I cut a couple wood wedges, okay? You can stick these down in here, push them in there with your fingers, ta-da, okay? This is how you control the speed. I drilled a hole in here all the way through and I use the little machine screw something out of like a radio or something just so that it doesn't spin on its own. I'm going to screw that down right on here like so. And then when you screw this screw in right here it will push on the trigger and that's how you can control the speed and that's it. Simple, plain as can be, works better than buying anything you can buy on a small scale.